In Act Two, Scene Two of Hamlet, Claudius and Gertrude hire Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, two of Hamlet's childhood friends, to snoop around in order to find out why Hamlet has been acting strangely. Ambassadors inform the king that Fortinbras has agreed not to agitate Denmark, but has asked that he and his men are allowed passage through Denmark on their way to Poland. As the ambassadors exit, Polonius tells Claudius and Gertrude he thinks Hamlet's love for Ophelia is driving him mad. Polonius reads them a letter from Hamlet to Ophelia in which he proclaims his love for her. Together, Polonius, Claudius, and Gertrude conspire a meeting between the two lovers in order to find out if Ophelia is what's driving Hamlet mad. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern appear, and Hamlet asks several times what brings them to Elsinore. The one good bit of information they give Hamlet is that a company of players has come to Elsinore. Hamlet arranges for them to perform the murder of Gonzago in the court the following night and to incorporate some lines he will give them. Once Hamlet is alone, he speaks aloud, berating himself for his lack of action with the task the ghost has given him. Hamlet is convinced that if Claudius reacts guiltily, it will prove that the ghost is a noble spirit and not a devil come to trick him. The use of spies again comes into play. Bringing in Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, old friends of the prince, who will rely on their long-standing relationship with Hamlet to ferret out the information the king and queen desire. The theater troupe arriving is significant, as it opens Shakespeare to the use of a play within a play. He now is plotting a way to cause Claudius to divulge his guilt through his reaction to Hamlet's play within the play. As this scene closes, the presence of the company of actors also provides fodder for Hamlet to use against himself and his tendency to overthink, contrasting himself with actors who can call up passion and tears out of a fictitious motivation. Hamlet condemns his own lack of action in avenging his father. Thematically, this scene has many instances that tap into the theme of truth versus deception and madness. Ironically, the company of actors are some of the only characters not hiding something. This scene also examines the theme of thought versus action brought up by the discussion around Fortinbras and Norway, which paints young Fortinbras as a man of action to Hamlet's man of thought, as well as Hamlet's comparison of himself to the players. <laughs>